In this video, I want to talk about burnout. Coder burnout, entrepreneur burnout, YouTuber burnout. I'm seeing more and more videos where uh, people in their 30s, early 30s, late 20s, they're experiencing burnout. You see a lot of YouTubers have dropped off recently. And uh, your Uncle Steph here. I'm an older uh, older whippersnapper. I've experienced burnout myself back in, the, back in the 90s, but not with YouTube, but with uh, business. So we're gonna jump into it. Yeah, let me know what you think of this, uh, this new perspective here. I'm trying to entertain you with a vlog educational video here. So what is burnout? Burnout is when you work too long without taking breaks, and then it's a psychological condition, really. And uh, what happens is your brain just says, no mass, I've had enough, it's too much, can't do it anymore. And all of a sudden, anything related to work, even the most mundane, simple task becomes super painful, super uh, boring, super, you just don't want to do anything. So I've been there. So one of the things you got to be careful about with burnout is that, well, first thing, you don't want to get there. That's like a horrible thing to do. Don't get to burnout. Because once you go over that burnout cliff, it takes a long time to recover. Trust me, I've done that, been there, seen it. It took me like two years or so before I got out of it. Fortunately for me, I had some success, so I didn't really need to work. But uh, if you need to work and you're burnt out, it's not a good place to be in. So uh, rule number one, do not let yourself get burnt out. So that's easier said than done. So some of you are saying, Uncle Steph, so how do you arrange that? How do you do that? What do you do? Well, we're gonna learn. So the number one thing you gotta do is you gotta pace yourself. Meaning you have to take breaks. As an entrepreneur, whether or a coder, a freelancer, a SaaS developer, a contractor, or even a YouTuber, whatever it is you do, you have to, um, you have to be disciplined in terms of taking breaks. The discipline the irony is that the discipline in uh, being uh, an entrepreneur or a coder is in taking breaks. That's the discipline. You can get caught up in the work, be working constantly, and uh, you never take breaks. And when you're young and healthy, you can get away with this for a certain amount of time. You may get away with it for three, four years. But eventually the burnout hits you. So you never want to hit burnout. So you need to pace yourself. Some of the things you could do is every two hours, you get up, go for a walk, go to the gym, get away from the screen, leave your smartphone behind, don't respond to emails, don't respond to anything, get away from the screen. Next tip, what you eat will have a huge impact in terms of your psychology, the durability of your psychology, your overall mood. So you gotta start eating healthier natural foods if you're not already. Natural foods is a key. Foods not in a box. Whether it be vegetables, whether it be uh, certain fruit. You wanna go crazy with the fruit because there's too much sugar in them. Meat, anything natural, anything unprocessed, that's key. Drink lots of water. Your brain, right, is impacted tremendously by what you consume and your brain dictates your mood. Your, if your brain has got proper nutrients, uh, lots of water, it will be much more resilient. You'll think much better, you have more energy. So yeah, eating natural foods, believe it or not, will help uh, stave off burnout, simply because you're gonna be stronger to begin with. Yeah, since we're on the subject of uh, health, yeah, exercise, as I suggested, doing exercise. Specifically, I found personally, that weightlifting has a huge, huge impact in terms of one's uh, uh, overall strength and health and mental stability. So yeah, you gotta exercise. Burnout is will happen to many people, does happen to many people. And the main reason they burn out is they don't pace themselves. You gotta pace yourself. The discipline, again, especially as a freelancer, or a YouTuber, or a coder who runs a business, the discipline is in taking breaks. That's where the discipline is. Now, you don't want to be like those ex-Twitter employees who all got fired or spending their whole day doing nothing. But, you know, 
you can't spend your whole day just working and not taking breaks. You've got to take breaks. It's very important. You'll be much more productive. Also, remember this. If you're a workaholic type, remember that you only work at peak efficiency for about um, four hours max. And they keep up with you. I was distracted there for a second. You work at peak efficiency for four hours max. So after that four hours of... Uh, and then when they start in AC? After that four hours of intense work, your, your cognitive capacity plummets and you're just not very productive anyway. So that's the time to take a break. So there you go. Uh, one thing as an added bonus tip here, one thing I like to do is take little little breaks every half an hour and I might drop down and do 10 push-ups or do a leg stretch or something like that just to break it up go get a dr glass of water most of us don't drink enough water during the day and me included anyway I hope you found this useful burnout is a thing now you know how to avoid it you got to be disciplined in your pacing okay let me know what you think of this uh of this format here this walk and talk if you like this PO, pov uh video style and if you do i'll do more all right good that crazy lady i ran into last time is no longer he's not here right now it's a good thing yeah i ran into a crazy lady uh in the park uh, last week I kept running into her, so I had to change my schedule.